Hello students, welcome to a new session of our mathematical world, data handling. Today we are going to discuss the frequency distribution table. As we have already studied, the word data means collected information. There are two types of data, raw data and grouped data. Now we will discuss raw data. In a class, the teacher asks students about their favorite fruits. Which is your favorite fruit? Apple. Grape. Strawberry. Banana. Grapes. The results were listed as From this, can you say, which is the most liked fruit and the one that is least liked? It is not easy to say the answer by looking at the choices written disorderly. That is, the given data is in an unorganized form, which is called raw data. So, the data available to us, in an unorganized form, is called raw data. Or, it refers to data that has been collected directly from a primary source and has not been processed in any way. We have to arrange the raw data in a table using tally marks. There are four fruits in the given data, apple, banana, grapes, and strawberry. How many students like apples? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is, there are seven students who like apples. In the same way, let us count the number of students who like bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Continuing in this manner, we can find the number of students who like grapes. One, two, three, four, five. And strawberry, one, two, three, four. The number of tallies for each fruit gives the number of students who like that particular subject. This is known as the frequency of that fruit. That is, the frequency of students who like apple is seven. The frequency of students who like bananas is 6. The frequency of students who like grapes is 5. The frequency of students who like strawberries is 4. That is, frequency gives the number of times that a particular entry occurs. And the table made is known as the frequency distribution table, as it gives the number of times any entry occurs. Using this table, we can say that the most liked fruit is apple and the least liked fruit is strawberry. Let's try to do another example. A group of students was asked to say which animal they would like most to have as a pet. The results are given below. Make a frequency distribution table for the same. Number of students who like dogs is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number of students who like cats is 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number of students who like fish is one, two, three. Number of students who like rabbits is one, two, three, four. 
The number of students, who like cows, is only one. Now we get the frequency distribution table. Using this table, we can easily answer the questions related to this. Let's have a quick recap. Today we learned about the frequency distribution table. A frequency distribution table shows how frequently a particular item occurs in a group. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Marvel was asked to collect the data for the size of shoes of students in her class 8. Her findings are recorded in the manner shown below. Prepare a frequency distribution table. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.